All right, so we got another consecutive integer problem. I should probably get in. Nah, I'll, I'll use this part. Don't do what I'm doing by writing your work in different directions on a piece of paper, but this is like scrap paper for me. No, do as I say, not as I do. Okay. Yeah. All right, we're going to use one of those shortcut strategies that we talked about at the end of the previous video. Because they want us to identify the second number in the sequence, and since it's only three, we're going to make our life a little bit easier and make the second number our x value. Now, if we're talking about even numbers, let's say this was, I don't know, eight or something. How do I get to the even number beneath it? Subtract two. How do I get to the even number ahead of it? Add two. So what I have is that these three values sum to 78. Well, the really cool thing here now, or, or convenient, I guess, I don't know if it counts as cool, is that this plus two and this minus two are going to cancel each other out. So when we go to add all these up, we just get 3x equals 78. Now, this only happens if you set it up the way that we set it up, with x being that second value, and then minus 2 and the plus 2 canceling out. But now, if we want to get x by itself, we can just do what? We can divide by 3. Oh, man, 81 divided. No, I know 81 is 3 times 3 times 3. It's probably 26, I think. Yeah, because think, if I break this up, let's talk about how the math could be easier. I can make this 60 and 18, right? So if I think about 60 divided by 3 and 18 divided by 3, that's how we get that 26. Just let me hit stop. Oh, and that is our middle term. So we don't have to do anything else with it, but only because how we set it up, right? It wants our second term.